The pull shot and the late defensive shot goes hand in hand. If you play both of them really well, the bowler is under big pressure, especially the pull shot. I use the pull shot to put pressure on the bowler. Once I master that shot and I've got a good late defensive stroke, the bowler has got a long day ahead of him. Technically with the pull shot, to start off with, the stance. So I do my normal back and across trigger. Now very important for me and mentally for the bowler, against the bowler as well, is your next movement to be going forward. So I like to do the back and across, be really still. When I see it short, I do a little press with my front foot in order for me to really get my momentum moving forward. And from there on, I rock back with my back foot, going across a little bit and to get into good position to play the pull shot. Notice how I use my back foot to really stabilize myself and to get into strong position. When you're not into a good position, you will tend to commit yourself to the shot and you won't be able to pull out when there's a bit of bounce. When I'm in a solid position with my feet, there's always time to pull out of the shot when there's a little bit of bounce and when it's getting too steep on you. To really free up my arms, it's important for the ball not to be in line with my head. Just outside, so I can free up my arms on the offside or just outside the leg side, so I can play a hook shot down to fine leg. But never in my throat, head area, because that'll cramp you and it'll all go straight up. Ideally, for the pull shot, the ball should be just outside your eye line. Never get a short ball to be coming straight at your head because that'll mean you'll be taking your eyes off the ball. Really important with the pull shot, when you get into a good position, for the right arm to extend. Never keep this right arm bent through the shot. The right arm's got to extend almost like a, a forearm tennis shot, if you know what I mean. And also, when you speak about a forearm tennis shot, you know that you do a bit of topspin, you've got to have the same kind of action with a pull shot. So, extend your arm, let the wrist roll through the ball. It's really important to rock forward first, in order for you to get into a good solid position with your front foot. From there on, the pull shot's very instinctive. You get a bit of stability on your back foot and you let your arms just flow through the ball. Remember, right arm has got to extend a bit. I extend my right arm as much as possible in order for me to get the ball nice and in front of square. It's obviously important when they've got a square leg and a fine leg out to keep the ball on the ground. The further the ball goes outside your eye line, the harder it is to keep it down. So you really have to get onto your toes and make sure you roll over. To me, playing the short ball or the pull shot is an instinctive shot. So there's already a lot of power involved. There's no need to overheat it. I always just try and time it and make sure I place it in good areas. And when the time is right and you're in a good position, you can always go for the big one.